And that off in the grade one Unibet Morgiana hurdle. Straight into the lead goes the big prize outsider, Feast to Derry, turning in, good four lengths in front of State Man, returning winner of last year, followed by Pied Piper, dropped in the mayor. Echoes and Ray round the bend for the first of eight flights, and the leader is Feast of Dairy, Sam Ewing, by a good five lengths to Stateman and Paul Town, and third is Pied Piper and Jack Kennedy, fourth of the four. Approaching flight one is Echoes and Rain and Danny Mullins. Feast of Dairy at the first. Far from slick over it. Maintains a five lead over Stateman, Pied Piper, and Echoes and Rain in single file. Passing the winning post, going uphill to flight number two. Feast to Dairy by five lengths to the long odds and favorite state man, and third is Pied Piper with the back marker, Echoes and Ray. Continuing uphill to the turn, just after which they will jump flight number two. Feast to Dairy with a slightly reduced advantage over state man, and third is Pied Piper. Last time second in the English Zazadowicz, and the back marker remains. Echoes and Rain, flight number two at the top of the track. Feast to Derry. Good four lengths up on State Man. Third is Pied Piper. And then Echoes and Rain. Downhill they go to flight number three. Order and change. It's Feast to Derry, cutting out the running from State Man. Pied Piper, Echoes and Rain. Mayor's champion winner here at the festival. The next flight will be the third, bringing them into the back straight in the Unibet Morgiana Grade 1 Hurdle. Feast to Dairy, tracked by Stateman and the Czechs, and then Pied Piper and Echoes and Rain, the down in flight number three, which brings them into the back straight and to the halfway stage. Another five flights left to jump. It's Feast to Dairy, making the turn with the reduced lead of three lengths of a Stateman, who dominated the domestic scene last season Winning four grade ones, and then Pied Piper and Echoes and Rain. Still in the same order from the time they started. Feast to Dairy, followed by Stateman, Pied Piper, and Echoes and Rain. First of two flights in the back straight. Feast to Dairy, stoked by Stateman, Pied Piper next, and then Echoes and Rain. Feast to Dairy, a couple of lengths to the good over Stateman. Pied Piper in the red and white, last but one. The back marker remains Echoes and Rain. A little more tightened up. Last on the back straight, which is four from the finish. Feast to Dairy from Stateman, Pied Piper, and Echoes and Rain. Just over five furlongs to go. Three flights left to jump. And it's Feast to Dairy. All the while coming back to Stateman, who's within a length and a half. Something similar of a margin back to the third running Pied Piper. Echoes and Rain is closing up. Last of the four with three to jump. Feast to Dairy by a length and a half to State Man. In third place is Pied Piper. Jump closer to Pied Piper and then Echoes and Rain. They've really tightened up. Three and a half furlongs to go as they return to their point of departure. This is the second last. Feast to Dairy from State Man. Who's poised on the outside. And then Pied Piper and Echoes and Rain. The quartet covered by three lengths as they run the home turn. One flight left to jump, and it's State Man looming on the outside. Shooting through on the rail is Pied Piper. Feast to Dairy fades, and round the outside is Echoes and Rain. The pitcher is changing, passing the two. One flight left, and State Man hits the front from Echoes and Rain. On the inside is Pied Piper leaving behind Feast to Dairy into the final flight. It is State Man over the last from Echoes and Rain. In third is Pied Piper, and then Feast to Dairy. 150 yards to go and it is State Man dominating successive Unibet Morgianas for Paul Town and Willie Mullins. A cracking day one treble for them. Echoes and Rain follows in a stable companion. Feast to Dairy and Pied Piper third and fourth. Paul Town ends with us after State Man won his second consecutive Unibet Morgiana hurdle. Paul looked like he thoroughly enjoyed that and why not? What a cracking horse he is. Yeah, he's a pleasure to do it and with. Um, he's a horse. I don't know for some reason. I, I just I, I love riding him, and 
he's just I suppose he's he's so nice and kind to do anything with that uh, he's one that uh, I, I just really like riding yeah was that every bit as straightforward as it looked as you expected it to be no yeah it's a pleasure to go to the start and just work it out when you get there not you know you're not tight to anything and um, He's he's that type. When when Sam elected to go on, I could sit second, and I was happy to take a lead. In him. Yeah, nice jump at the last as well to seal the deal. Willie was saying he's roughly at the same sort of place he was this time last year, fitness-wise. But do you think we'll see an even sharper state man next time? I I presume I, I think we will. Um, it's you know, secret hours are, are are coming on, you know, and we'll come on for the run. But like he was smart there from the back of the ass. I got a long way down the straight without committing him, and uh, when I did ask him to stretch, he did. Still only six years of age, and I know you said you maybe didn't felt he didn't show his truly his best form at Cheltenham in the spring. There, do you think maybe this fella's only coming into his prime now? He, he could be. Um, like I, I don't know why, or maybe I'm just looking for excuses. And uh, because I, I like him so much, but he, um, I just throughout the race in Cheltenham, I, 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 I thought I'd be going better at stages, and and I wasn't for whatever reason. So yeah, we won't give up on him. Yeah. Absolutely. I know you've got the likes of Imperi Pass to come out and he's held in really high regard, but this is still very much the top dog in Ireland in the two-mile division as it stands. From last year's form, yeah, uh, he's he's at the top table and hopefully the other horse can progress up to it, yeah. Spoke to you before Gaelic Warrior, how much was of a thrill was it going around on him? It was a thrill, we, we did what Gaelic Warrior wanted to do. Um, you know, he was, he was jumping so quick early on that I just had to let him off and, um, yeah, he was quick slick and uh, to be honest I got to the third last before he dropped the bridle so um, you know I just coasted on from there. That doesn't happen too often even in one of yours, he was fresh even in the preliminaries were you kind of half expecting that was going to happen? Yeah I, I'm no Gaelic warrior enough now at this stage and it was no huge surprise but um, no he's, look he's exciting yeah he was, he, but he'll, he'll have to settle down but I think that'll take the fizz out of him he can be that way at the start of the seasons. Will he seem to think that sort of trip will be fine, just fine from now? Would you go along with that? Yeah, after feeling what we had today, anyway, we'll see. But I think, I, I hope and I think that he will relax away, you know. Yeah, good day's work. Look forward to tomorrow now? Yeah, definitely. Couldn't be, couldn't be better after this, lad, anyway. Excellent. Thanks, yeah. Paul. Well, Thanks, Gary. Cheers. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.